better at this, eh? The Horj too. Alright, sorry about that. Alright. The Kharaj to Minala Jamia Munzu Sanatain means I graduated I graduated from the university. Uh, Sanatain is two years Munzu means since so, so this really means Roughly, I graduated from the university two years ago. I graduated from university from the university two years ago. Let's just start from the easier one. The sun attain is means two years. As I told you in class, the word for year in Arabic is sana. And if you want to double anything, any object, basically all you have to do is add the ya and noon ending. Ya and noon ending. So sun attain becomes. Sanatain. This is one year. Sanatain becomes two year. And the word, for example, I give you another word. Usbu means one week. If you wanna double that, you add yai. That'll be usbu ain. Usbu ain. Yeah. If hopefully you can read that. Usbu ain and kitab means one book. If you wanna double that, becomes kita. Bain. Pretty simple, right? Anyway, two years. Uh, most of them means since or ago, but uh, it really depends on the context of the sentence. So in this case, it means two years ago. I mean, Al-Jamia is pretty self-explanatory from the, from the university. I want to focus on this uh, first word. By the way, this, uh, the whole sentence with a verb, so this is called, uh, if you remember, Jumla fi'liya. Jumla fi'liya means the verbal sentence. Why is it called verbal sentence? Because it starts with a verb, not a noun. And in fact, the the word the noun I is, is implied in this one word. So takharajtu means I graduated. Takharajtu, I graduated. How do I know this means I? Because of the ending to, right? Uh, and how do I know this is past tense? Well, because of the two ending. It's used for past tense, so I know right away this is past tense. Uh, if I want to say you, fem uh, male graduated, there will be the harajta, uh, and if you female second person graduated, there will be the harajti, and if it's third person uh, female, there will be the harajat, and if it's the first uh, third person male, it will be the haraja. Third person male is the most uh, is the simplest form. Uh, of all the conjugations, so I'm gonna start with that. The Khoroja, the third person, that'll, that'll be who, alright? Uh, the verb will be the Khoroja. You'll see in a minute why I'm talking about this part. The uh, Khoroja, the Khoroja, everything has a fatha on it because this is the simplest form. Now I can uh, guess what is the root of this word. Um, but if you want to guess the root, you have to know the wisdom of this word first. As in, is it going to be formed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 10? Because this is the most simple form, you know this ta is actually included in the word. So you have to take this, so you have to factor in this ta when you're uh, trying to figure out the, the root. Uh, if you look at your conjugation, uh, if you look at your uh, 1 to 10 form chart that I gave you, uh, and if you look at the past tense uh, section, the column, you know right away that this matches with ta fa'ala. Ta fa'ala. Right? Fa'ala is the root of ta fa'ala. Similarly, then, uh, kha, ra, and ja is the root of ta kharraja. Now, I'm going to switch to the new layer. Takharaja. 
Now we know that the root is the Kha, Ra, and Ja. Because we know this is form number 5, right? Now if you look at the dictionary, if you want to find the definition of the Kharaja, you have to go through this first alphabetically, Kha, Ra, and Ja. And this will give you, uh, into the dictionary will give you something like this, Kharaja and then give you the definition blah 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 and then you go to the one that starts with, I mean it'll give you a variety of formulas number two number three and then eventually once you come to number five that's the one that you're looking for and it should mean to graduate somehow so that's the as a simple lecture simple short lecture for now I'm gonna give you on the next part I'm gonna show you uh, the relevant part of the dictionary that says the Alright, uh, see you for now. Assalamu alaikum.